How's it going, everyone? We're back again with Subnautica as the sun rises in the northeast, it looks like. I don't know. That might be useful to someone. Uh, what's, what's the goal for this one? We could go for the mobile vehicle bay. Kind of keep that in the back of our mind while we're exploring. But I did want to find that cave, and I was also looking for <laughs> where I placed that portable oxygen thing. Is, it, is this it over here? And I wanted to put a beacon on that. Yeah. We'll fucking... We'll put a beacon here. Might be a waste of a beacon, but... With my terrible memory, probably not. Nice. Alright. Now we'll, we'll never forget where that is again. And we can go make another beacon, maybe. Oh, dude, thanks for bringing that metal scrap. What a pal. Uh, yeah. So, let's get to exploring. Good news about the compass now. Ooh, actually, we might go explore that today. What I was going to say, though, is a uh, good thing about having the compass is that I can now just pick a direction and go that way. Instead of kind of blindly spinning around. Ooh, what is this? What we got here? Sea glide. Sea glide. Boring. A desk? Give me a desk. I'll take it. For whenever I can... Jesus, I could have finished the sea glide right here. What the hell's wrong with me? Like, I could have finished the whole sea glide right here. Office chair. Oh, dude, I'm gonna have a gaming setup here before long. Whenever I can eventually craft a base. Dude, I swear, it's an actual thing. I start recording and I, I my nose gets to the point where I really need to sneeze. I held it in that time. Alright, let's see if we can get on in here somehow. Holy hell, we're on land. I didn't think I'd ever see the day. Any entrance? No, but it's low res as hell. What the hell is that? I saw that. That fucker was big. Ooh, a supply crate. Was that a battery? That's a big motherfucker. We're gonna go to another side of the ship. <laughs> I'm not scared. You're scared. I like salt. It helps me uh, keep my meat cured. And keep it on me longer. What is this? A propulsion cannon fragment? What the hell is that? A salvage. Oh, I want the other part of that blueprint. Oh, a power transmitter fragment. I don't know what that's for. Maybe for the radio? I can send outgoing messages and not just receive them. That's just metal scrap, I believe. Yeah. Well, I know where to come if I need metal salvage. What is this? Ooh, like a titanium ore reserve type deal? Is there like no entrance? Or is like the only entrance where that big ass, like, what are, what are they called? I think they're called leviathans? Or like a leviathan class creature? Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Oh no. What is happening? Another eclipse? Damn, I hate that. It makes everything so dark. And my god. A dark ocean is a scary ocean. That's my thoughts. Dark ocean equals scary ocean. Looks like we might have some kind of entrance, maybe. Under here? Ooh, wait, hold. I don't like all that shaking. Can I, like, not get in there? Oh, no! There's another one of the big boys. Give me away. I don't think I can get in. Passing 100 At least from here. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Huh. Well, I thought we'd explore the ship. Maybe not. What is this? <gasps> Propulsion cannon. I think we only needed two. We can craft it. 
Let's go craft a propulsion cannon. Maybe. If we can. We should probably also craft a new sea glide when we get back. Oh boy, we got a new message as well. Warps gravity to pull and push objects. Oh boy. That sounds interesting. We need some silver. Or a wiring kit. Let's listen to the message. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross Ooh, your fingers boy. the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Ooh. We have an objective with a timer. Sounds like I know how I'm going to end this episode. I hope that's not a waste of resources. I hope it doesn't just need a battery or something. Ah, that's how it works. So it is battery. Okay, well, I wasted some resources. Oh well. <laughs> Guess I'll make him get another locker for my failed experiments. God, what I, what do I do? <laughs> my anxiety's telling me not to do anything and just wait for the timer. But I, I want to be able to, like, do stuff while I wait. Uh, we can see... What, what do we need for the propulsion cannon? That's what we can do. Warps gravity. We talking, like, telekinesis push and pull? Oh my god! That's awesome. Boy, it just saps power, though. It's it's awesome, but it just saps power. I'd be going through a lot of batteries using that. God, I feel like I'm just wasting time. I can make a, make a grav trap. I don't know what that does. We can go put that somewhere. Uses artificial gravity to attract light objects and small creatures. I wonder if it's reusable. Only one way to find out, I guess. I don't know, let's, let's put it over here. Well, oh! I really hope it doesn't take power. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, let's put it a little higher. That way it catches some bladder fish as well. I know they tend to be higher up, as I see one near the floor of the ocean. God damn it. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to look at something else to do before this timer. The content timer, I'll call it. I could go for a habitat builder. That thing's cool. If it if it doesn't run out of power, that's a very cool tool. Wait, this is the cave. This is the cave I wanted to find. Explode already, Jesus Christ! Ow! Why are there so many? What a perfect distraction, and what timing for the distraction? What better timing for this distraction than when I have to wait for something? All right, it's looking like it's gonna be smaller than I hope. That's what she said. <laughs> that was not as exciting as I hoped it would be. That's what she said. <laughs> oh Jesus, that surprised me. It's my freaking grab trap. I thought it was one of those leviathans that we saw next to the big old ship. <laughs> freaking biting bitch. I don't care. I just want the sandstone. Don't you know why I'm talking like this? Silver! Yes! Let's make the habitat thingamajigger. Habitat builder. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay. I wonder what kind of resources it uses. Let's go to our... Jesus, that thing is going off! <laughs> Let's go to our air pump. I don't know. Let's just... Ah, it's another menu. I see, I see. Oh my goodness. Dude, go away. This is probably not the time to start base building, considering I'm on a time limit here. Let's at least get like a, like a base. Like a... I don't know, okay. No pun intended. Let's get a like base structure here. Let's just say at like 10 minutes, I'll start heading towards the... The thingamajig. The, the sunbeam landing spot. Let's make some foundation. Ah, oh, okay. This is how it works. Well, I assume I want to make it somewhat on the ground. 
Oh, Jesus. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's make another foundation, I guess. Yeah. Am I getting dumped on? I feel like I'm getting dumped on. I sure was. Alright, we got a nice little foundation going here. Alright. Alright, alright. I'm getting dookied on again. I guess I don't have any rooms right now, so... Multi-purpose room seems to be what I need to actually, like, make an entrance to. I'm getting pooped on constantly. Alright, I'm gonna go grab... We'll, we'll put that on hold for now. I'm gonna grab some food for the journey. Let's head towards our destination. Oh no! And let's head over there. Just gonna get right into it. I probably didn't need to give myself this much time, but I wanted to just be sure. If nothing interesting happens on the way, I will see you guys when I get there. I may be swimming back, considering the power on my glide thing. Whoa. Whoa, that's a straight up landmass. Oh, I don't have a beacon on me. Uh, I'll have to remember it's uh, northeast. Dude. This is sick. This is pretty sick, dude. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Massive energy signature, eh? Whoa, what is that? It's like a whole ass, like, monolith. Holy shit, there's actual land on this planet. Who'd have thunk it? A bulbo tree? Oh, let's get to scanning. Whoa, this is cool. That's, that's, that's a structure built by, like, intelligent life forms. Where's the landing zone? Where'd it go? Oh, it's over there. Okay. I got five minutes to explore, give or take. I can't scan that? Are you kidding me? What the hell is going on around here? This is cool as hell. I need to not get distracted, though, because I don't want to miss the sunbeam. What if that's some kind of, like... This planet's, like, equivalent of, like, a military base or something. What happens if the sunbeam gets, like, shot down? That won't be good. Is this really the only place they could land? Ooh. Ow! That really hurt me? That was, like, like, two inches. That's what she said! Ooh, a cave. What the fuck is that thing? Ugh. Hey! Cave crawler. Motherfucker. I will beat your ass. Come here. Come here. You wanna fight? Uh uh, you ain't leading me into that cave. Are you dead? Oh, you're dead. This, this is, this was unexpected. I expected maybe like a, like a deserted island or something. <laughs> hey! Motherfucker. Be dead. Alright, we got three minutes. I really need to not forget where this is and place a beacon here. I will definitely be back. Lithium! Oh, there's lithium in here! Yeah. Why does that hurt? Jesus Christ. What's the gravity on this planet? It's clearly not very high. I've seen how, uh... I've seen how high I friggin' breached the water. Cave bush! Let's go see the sunbeam land. Well, I guess sea is relative, considering it's night. That place looks cool. And... Definitely not dangerous or anything. Oh, I hear something. Where? Oh shit. Was I right? Is that like an alien military base? Oh shit, I think I'm right. Oh no. Not the sunbeam. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. Uh, fish. We're broken atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Oh, I see it. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. 
It's coming from the building? Oh, shit. Of course. Set thrusters to full. Oh, no. Huh. So it turns out I was right. <laughs> that is indeed a, like, alien military base. That's not good. Huh. Well then. Uh, that's awkward. Wow. <laughs> um... I, I'm speechless. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I was right. Oh. And it's going back to dormant. Or something. Standby mode. Oh, what is that? Their victory bell? Explore it? <laughs> Go see if it'll even let us in. Who knows, maybe it'll hurt us. Maybe we can't get in. What we got? Purple tablet fragment. Data downloads. Ooh. Force field control. Ah, we need the purple tablet, it would seem. Has just no known technologies and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. Technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there's a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. So I assume it's the purple tablet, which I do not have. Okay. Gotcha. So we have a new objective. I think I saw something purple up here when I was exploring the island. I don't know if that's related. Oh, it is. It's the purple tablet. You know what? We'll go in on the next episode. Sorry to, uh, sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger like that. Figured it was a good stopping point. I was only hoping to see the uh, sunbeam. And yeah. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And come back if you want to see more. Peace.